Smart Reading Assistant to read your book's PDF text docs Excel, PPT and web pages Do you have a book, printed or handwritten text, or a PDF, including scanned PDF, docs, Excel, PPT, text or web pages to read? Give it to InstaReader, it will convert them to audiobook and will read it out to you. InstaReader supports documents across 60 plus languages. Not only that you can translate, edit, copy, download, share the audiobooks. You can also take notes while reading, bookmark, search for text, track your reading time, skip unwanted text, set reading mode, adjust audio speed, pitch, and change audio voice. InstaReader is your instant reading assistant. Languages supported Albanian, Albania, Arabic, Assamese, India, Belarusian, Belarus, Bengali, India, Bangladesh, Bansian, Bosnia, Bulgarian, Bulgaria, Catalan, Catalonia, Chinese, China, Taiwan, Croatian, Croatia, Czech, Czechia, Danish, Denmark, Dutch, Netherlands, English, Estonian, Estonia, Filipino, Philippines, Finnish, Finland, French, Canada, France, German, Germany, Greek, Greece, Gujarati, India, Hebrew, Israel, Hindi, India, Hungarian, Hungary, Indonesian, Indonesia, Italian, Italy, Japanese, Japan, Javanese, Indonesia, Canada, India, Kazakh, Kazakhstan, Khmer, Cambodia, Korean, South Korea, Lao, Laos, Latin, Italy, Latvian, Latvia, Lithuanian, Lithuania, Macedonian, Macedonia, Malagasy, Madagascar, Malay, Malaysia, Malayalam, India, Marathi, India, Mongolian, Mongolia, Nepali, Nepal, Norwegian Bomkal, Norway, Adia, India, Pashto, Afghanistan, Persian, Iran, Polish, Poland, Portuguese, Brazil, Portugal, Punjabi, India, Romanian, Romania, Russia, Sanskrit, India, Serbian, Serbia, Sinhala, Sri Lanka, Slovak, Slovakia, Slovenian, Slovenia, Somali, Somalia, Spanish, Spain, United States, Sundanese, Indonesia, Swedish, Sweden, Tamil, India, Telugu, India, Thai, Thailand, Turkish, Turkey, Urdu, Pakistan, Uzbek, Uzbekistan, Vietnamese, Vietnam. Initial steps This section covers the initial steps to be done after you install the application 1. Select App Display Language It is the language for app display elements like buttons, dialog and messages. Currently English and Tamil languages are supported for app display. Choose your preferred language here. 2. Sign in with Google Click on the Sign Elm with Google button. Then, Step 1, choose your Google account. Step 2, click on Allow button in the InstaReader wants to access your Google account dialog. This permission is for accessing only the files you create using InstaReader in your Google Drive. Now sign in will be completed and you are in the home page of the app home page features the home page will list all the audiobooks saved by you. In addition to that it will have create new audiobook option, menu option, search audiobook option. Let's explore all these in detail below. 1. Create new audiobook using this option you can convert your documents into audiobooks and listen to them. Clicking on this button will show a dialog with four options and each of the option is explained below 1.1. Upload PDF, Photos, Docs, Text, PPT, Excel or InstaReader audiobook zip clicking. On this button will open your phone's file manager. Here you can choose a PDF file, including scanned PDF, photo, Word file with extensions .doc or .docs, Excel file with extensions .xls or .xlsx, PowerPoint files with extension .ppt or .pptx, text file or InstaReader audiobook zip file that is home page features documents using this option you can also directly share or open the document from outside of the app and it will be uploaded and the conversion process will begin. Disclaimer. The conversion of PDF files and photos to audiobooks may not be 100% accurate in some cases. Kindly use your judgment while reading important documents. Once the audiobook is created you will be in the listening to audiobook screen. Here you can play, pause, forward or rewind audio, read page, paragraph. Wordwise, translate, edit, copy, download, share the audiobooks.
You can also take notes while reading, bookmark, search for text, track your reading time, skip unwanted text, adjust audio speed, pitch, and change audio voice. All these features will be explained in the later part of the tutorial. Now let's see the second option available under Create New Audiobook. 1.2 Take Photo from Camera You can use this option to convert any physical book with printed or handwritten text to audiobook. Using this option you listening to audiobook features you will get this screen after audiobook conversion process is complete or when you click on the saved audiobook to read. All the options available in this screen will be explained below. 1. Page number and audiobook name The audiobook will be separated into multiple pages. The current page and the top dot next to that the name of the audiobook will be displayed. If the audiobook is not saved, the name will be displayed as untitled. 2. Go to page here you can enter a page number you want to read. InstaReader will load that page and read it for you. 3. Settings 3. Settings clicking on this button will show a dialog with 7 options. Each of the option is explained below. 3.1 Change reading navigation mode using this option you can set the reading enabled by default. You can disable it by switching off the toggle. 4. Page turn sound. A page turning sound will be played while you are changing page when listening to the audiobook. This will be enabled by default. You can disable it by switching BFF the toggle. 5. Read with talkback. By enabling this option, you can access and read the current page text of the audiobook using talkback. The play slash pause. Forward, rewind, replay controls will be removed from the listening to audiobook screen. We learned about all the features available under settings icon. Now, let's learn about the next option available in listening audiobook screen. 4. Tools clicking on this button will show a dialogue with 10 options. Each of the options is explained below. 4.1. Share in a bread by Eralt. You can disable IU by switching off the toggle. 4. Page turn sound. A page turning sound will be played while you are changing page when listening to the audiobook. This will be enabled by default. You can disable it by switching off the toggle. 5. Read with talkback. By enabling this option, you can access and read the current page text of the audiobook using talkback. The play slash pause, forward, rewind, replay controls will be removed from the listening to audiobook screen. We learned about all the features available under settings icon. Now, let's learn about the next option available in listening audiobook screen. 4. Tools clicking on this button will show a dialogue with 10 options. Each of the options is explained below. 4.1. Share You can share the audiobooks with others using this option. 3. Share formats are currently supported. 4.1.1. Share audiobook as zip using this option you can share the entire audiobook including the notes, bookmarks, and skip words as a single zip file to others. The receiver can upload this zip file under Create New Audiobook to read. 4.1.2 Share as Text Using this option you can share the audiobook as a single text file or plain text. After clicking on this button, it will show the Choose Pages screen. By default the From and To page will be filled with Start Page and End Page number of the audiobook. You can modify it to include only required pages. There will be an Include Page Number checkbox. If checked, it will include page page number text at the beginning of each page text in the text file. Then click on OK. It will show a dialog whether to share as plain text or text file. Choose your preferred type and share the text. 4.1.3 Share as audio using this option. You can share the audiobook in audio format. After clicking on this button, it will show the Choose Pages screen. By default, the From and To page will be filled with the start page and end page number of the audiobook. You can modify it to include only required pages. There will be a Include Page Number checkbox. If checked, it will include page page number text at the beginning of each page audio file. Then it will ask you to select the language. If you choose Detect Automatically, then InstaReader will detect the language or you can also manually select the language. After language selection the audio files will be created for each page in the TTS and voice selected for that language. You can share these files with others. Disclaimer, InstaReader doesn't encourage users to use these shared files for commercial purposes and it is the user's responsibility on how the shared files are being used. 4.2 Download You can download the audiobook to your phone's download folder using this option. The folder name will be created for InstaReader in your phone's download folder. 
This download folder will be available in the internal storage folder or SD card folder based on the phone you are using. Currently three download formats are supported. 4.2.1 Download audiobook as zip Using this option you can download the entire audiobook including the notes, bookmarks, and skip words as a single zip file. You can later upload this zip file under Create New Audiobook to read. Note, you can also use this option to back up the audiobook. You can then restore it by uploading the zip file under Create New Audiobook. 4.2.2 Download as text Using this option you can download the audiobook as a single text file. After clicking on this button, it will show the Choose Pages screen. By default the from end to page will be filled with start page and end page number of the audiobook. You can modify it to include only required pages. There will be an include page number checkbox. If checked, it will include page page number text at the beginning of each page text in the text file. Then click on OK. The text file will be downloaded. 4.2.3 Download as audio using this option you can. Download the audiobook in audio format. After clicking on this button, it will show the Choose Pages screen. By default the from end to page will be filled with the start page and end page number of the audiobook. You can modify it to include only required pages. There will be a include page number checkbox. If checked, it will include page page number text at the beginning of each page audio file. Then it will ask you to select the language. If you choose detect automatically, then InstaReader will detect the language or you can also manually select the language. After language selection the audio files will be downloaded for each page in the TTS and voice selected for that language. Disclaimer, InstaReader doesn't encourage users to use these downloaded files for commercial purposes. And it is the user's responsibility on how the downloaded files are being used. 4.3 Notes Clicking on this option will show a dialog with two options, text notes and voice notes 4.3.1 Text notes You can take text notes using this option. Click on this button and type your notes. The notes will be automatically saved. 4.3.2 Voice notes You can take voice notes using this option. Click on this button and it will show the voice notes screen. The voice notes screen will list all the saved voice notes and a record voice button. Click on the record voice button to record your voice. After recording click on the save button in the recording screen to save the voice note. Click on the delete button to delete the current recording. When you come back to the voice notes screen, the saved voice notes will be listed out. Click on a voice note to start listening to it. Each voice note will have a more options button. Using this you can delete or share the saved voice note. 4.4 Bookmark Using this option you can bookmark and view previous bookmarks. Clicking on this button will show two options 4.4.1 Bookmark current page and word Clicking on this button will bookmark current page and word. 4.4.2 View bookmarks This will list out all the bookmarks. Click on a bookmark to start reading from that page and word. Each bookmark will have a delete button. You can delete the bookmark using this option. 4.5 Search text Using this option you can search for a specific text in your audiobook. Clicking on this button will open a new screen. Here, enter the text to search in the Enter. Search text, text box, you can also choose the pages to search by entering the page number in from and to page text box. By default, start and end page of audiobook will be filled here. Then, click on the search button to start searching. InstaReader will search in all the pages chosen and will display the search result with page number and sentence where the search text is available. Click on the search result to start reading the audiobook from that point. 4.6 Track reading you can use this option to track your reading time and other details. Here it will show two stats, 4.6.1, audiobook stats it will show total reading time of the audiobook and how much more time is left. It will also show details about current page number and total pages in the audiobook. 4.6.2, current page stats it will show the total reading time of current page and how much more time is left for reading current page. It will also show details about total word count, current word, total paragraph count and current paragraph in the current page. 4.7 Translate Using this option you can translate the audiobook to another language. Clicking this option will ask to select the from language. Choose the language of the audiobook here. Next, it will ask to select to language. Here, choose the language you are willing to translate the audiobook. Next, 
You can also choose the pages you need to translate. By default, start and end page of the audiobook will be filled in here. After that the translate process will begin. Once the translation is complete, a new audiobook will be created with the translated text. You can start reading the audiobook and save it if needed. Note, the translation files will be downloaded for each language when you are translating from or to that language for the first time. This download one time setup for each language and it requires internet connection. However once the files are downloaded the translation will happen offline afterwards. 4.8 Edit Current Page Text Using this option you can edit current page text. After editing click on the save button in the edit text screen to save the changes. 4.9 Copy audiobook text Using this option you can copy the TE if the audiobook. After clicking on this option, you can choose pages you want to copy and the text of the pages will be copied to your clipboard. 4.10 Skip text while reading Do you feel that some unwanted text is repeated often and you find it disturbing? It could be numbers, punctuation marks, or some text. You can use this option to skip these unwanted text while reading. Clicking on this button will show skip text screen. Here all the previously added skip text will be listed out and add new skip text button will be available. You can add new skip text by clicking on the add new skip text button. Here you can enter the skip text in the enter skip text text box. Or you can also copy the text to skip from current page using copy text from current page button and paste in the text box. Once you entered the skip text, click on done. The skip text will be added. When you go back, all the skip text added previously will be listed out. Each skip text will have delete icon using, which you can remove the skip text as well. We learned about all the features available under tools icon. Now, let's learn about the next options available in listening audiobook screen. 5. Save by default the created audiobook will not be saved. If you want you can save the audiobook by clicking on this save icon. Enter the audiobook name and click on save, the audiobook will be saved. 6. Reading. Controls. The reading controls available in the listening to audiobook screen is listed below. 6.1. Play slash pause button. Click on play button to start listening to the audiobook and pause button to pause the audiobook reading. 6.2. Replay button. Clicking on this button will replay the current page or current paragraph or current word from beginning based on the reading navigation mode selected. 6.3. Forward 10 seconds button. Using this option you can forward audio 10 seconds. Listening to audiobook feature 6.4. Rewind 10 seconds button. Using this option you can rewind the audio 10 seconds. 6.5, next, button clicking on this button will move to the next page or next paragraph or next word based on the reading navigation mode selected. 6.6, .6, previous, button clicking on this button will move to the previous page or previous paragraph or previous word based on the reading navigation mode selected. 6.7, forward or rewind audio slider, using this slider you can forward or rewind the audio. For talkback users, Click on the volume up button to forward the audio and volume down button to rewind the audio. Now we have explored all the options in the listening to audiobook screen. Hi everyone. If you like my video, so please give me a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any doubt, then you can write it in the comments section down below. I will try to answer it soon. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.